What's up everyone? And welcome to Muggsy Character Design and Development 01. I want to start showing my workflow when it comes to Muggsy. Muggsies are near and dear to me. I've always loved creating them and there's just something very special about a Muggsy done in a traditional way. For starters, I am doing different sets of eyes and each one is going to be completely different. When you get to look throughout the history of graffiti with all the different writers and all the different crews, you see an assortment of talent and different styles and aesthetics that each crew and writer would use. For instance, what you're seeing is just different eye styles. I'm doing a sleepy eye. The sleepy eye Muggsy's the half eyelid closed. Those guys, you know, they were always one of my favorites. I, I, I can't think of a graffiti Muggsy without that type of an eye. You can always add eyebrows however you want, get crazy with it, make them super thick, and, and just, you know, have fun with it. It's always going to take a life of its own as you begin, and the great thing about it is when you're doing them, you're just going to end up bringing somebody new to life. And for this go around, I'm just going to keep his expression, his mouth, very simple. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to do anything extra with it. So it'll just be a simple mouth gesture. Now I'm working. I'm showing an actual workflow of me just selecting a certain eye style and working a front view of the face as well as a profile. And what you see is I'm using the same eye style, which is the uh, sleepy eye, and the expression is pretty much the same. It, there's not much going on. I just want to show that there's a symmetry. So it makes perfect sense when creating a Muggsy that it's an easy flip from front to side view. I'm working with very simple shapes for the hat. The hat sits on top of the head. It's almost like a rectangle. And I might add some detail into it, some detail as far as the making it a snapback. You know, it's just having some fun with it and, and giving each character its own special identity. I'll give him some hair, just work it differently for each guy. Now the detail is super simple and it makes it easier to execute, especially if you're executing it with spray paint. When you have the opportunity to do it with spray paint, the simpler your approach is at first, the better. As you advance, then you can, of course, you know, work with shading and light and contrast and, and just, you know, have a go at it. But for now, simple is always the best. That's what makes a traditional Muggsy classic. I added a thicker outline underneath his hat just to show that it's a shadow and how it's sitting and of course his hair and as well as the shadow behind him. For the profile, classic timeless Muggsy. Simple shapes. Him, I'm going to keep his hair pretty short. I don't think I'm going to give him a little bit of a fro or anything like that. Just nice clean cut Caesar. work with his hairline and then of course thicken and add a drop shadow. Simple shapes. That's what works well. Now I am just kind of freestyling and creating a different form in order to help shape his face. 
chose the eyes for him. His nose is pretty similar to what I was working with in the beginning. I'm just kind of making it a little bit more unique to fit his face. I'm going to give him a bucket, work that out. Mugsy's always look like they got so much attitude. That's what makes him so awesome. Work the shadow on the on the bucket hat. Now using the same eye style that I just did, now I'm working profile. And you can see the profiles are almost very similar. They're not always gonna be identical. And I try to keep them simple. This way it's easy for me to do and it doesn't take up so much time. I try to, to keep the same mindset of if I do a throwy, it's not time consuming. If you can execute a Muggsy within that period of time, then you've obviously mastered creating Muggsies. That's about it for this go around. Look out for part two coming soon where we focus more on his body as well. Peace.